just say, and we. Hello? Oh, no. Trigger Happy was such a big part of my life. Hey, welcome to the show, Don. Nice Thank to see you. Thank you very much. Last time you was on a celebrity show, who did you take on? I took on Sean, Dark Destroyer. It's bringing back nightmare memories. Is it? So. <laughs> Yeah, I'm back. Bit of redemption. OK, yeah, let's see how so, we go. Yeah. So tell me, what have you been up to? You've got this online thing going on, haven't you? Twitch. I have, so I've started a Twitch channel, which is quite exciting. And how's that going? It's weird, cos Twitch is essentially what I used to shout at my kids for doing. But I used to walk <laughs> in and my kids would be watching other kids playing video games. All oh, right. And now I'm doing that, and of course now it's, it's a career step. It's fantastic. <laughs> Am I right in thinking you bought a hot air balloon? I did buy a hot air balloon. <laughs> I think that's really cool. You see some very strange things, cos it's very quiet. Yeah. People don't notice you, and I've seen some, let's just say, some interesting stuff. And like what, like what, like what? Certainly couples getting amorous in fields. <laughs> that you, can, uh, you know, I mean, I'm not saying I'm a voyeuristic hot air balloonist, but it's a good place to people watch. Let's leave it at that, shall we? <laughs> How big's your basket? Oh, thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, think of a picnic hamper, times that by about ten. How many people could you get in your basket? Uh, three, maximum. Oh, so... And it is a bit odd sometimes. You're up at 10,000 feet and you're literally standing in a picnic hamper and you're thinking, what am I doing here? But that's hot air ballooning. Did you say 10,000 feet? Yeah. <laughs> it, they fly, you know that. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right, so what charity are you playing for today? I'm playing for Ataxia UK. OK, let's get cracking and see how much we can raise. Ooh. Five multiple choice questions. Please get the first one correct, otherwise, oh, if you yeah. get it wrong, you are out. Let's play. Here we go. Which of these fictional characters is not associated with wearing a loincloth? Is it A, Tarzan? Is it B, Gandalf? Or C, Mowgli? I think it's B, Gandalf. Gandalf, is that the right answer? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the pressure of that. <laughs> That's all I've been worrying about. Yeah, I'm yeah. fine. I'm relaxed. OK, yeah. you're taking on the chases. Oh. It is Gandalf. All right, here's the next question. You've got a £1,000. Well okay. done. Let's see how we can rock on. Cryptophasia is a private language spoken between who? A, mathematicians, B, spies, C, twins. Well, crypto is... It's either spies or mathematics. Cryptology. I'm going to have to say mathematicians. OK, you're saying mathematicians. Is that the right answer? It is oh, the wrong answer. I oh, know. Correct answer is... Spies. Twins! twins. Ah. OK, uh, Menace, what have you got to say about that? Yeah, so some twins just develop, like, secret little words because they spend so much time together. Well, what's weird is my wife is a twin, so I really should have known that. Yeah, well... I, I've never heard that, so... Yeah. yeah. OK, here we go. So we've got £1,000. Don, it's time to face the chasers. <laughs> Quick fire head to head against the gang. Here we go. Let's put some time on the clock. 60 seconds on yours and 60 seconds on theirs. But the chasers will make you a time advantage offer and money. However, if you want to play for the £1,000 you've got in the cash builder, you will take on two chasers automatically, and those two chasers are. <laughs> okay, it's the governess and the beast. Governess. Well, Dom, I thought you were a little unlucky in those questions. Oh, thank you. But let's face it, it's our job to make you Dom miserable. OK. <laughs> Beast, what have you got? Time <laughs> advantage, please. We want 37 seconds on our clock. Wow. 23 seconds time advantage. That's massive. OK, third chaser, who's that, please? Vixen. We want 39 seconds on our clock. And you'll be playing for £10,000. Thank you very right. much. OK, fourth chaser, who's that, please? Destroyer, go ahead. Yeah, there he is. So it's a chance for redemption and revenge. Yeah, that's what I want. We want 40 seconds on our clock. Mm -hmm. And for that, you'll be playing for £20,000. 20 20-second time advantage, that's yeah, big, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. good. OK, if you want to take on a full house, Menace? We want 44 seconds on our clock. Oh, but no. you will be playing for £50,000. <laughs> 16 second time advantage. OK, what do you think, Don? I would like to take Sean on again. And 20,000, giving me 20 seconds, I think is doable, but 44 is a good offer for 50,000. It is. It's a lot of time. 16 seconds. Yeah. <sighs> I'm going to go for all five. If you. Yeah. You are? Yeah. I could... Yeah, I am. OK, all yeah. right. 
Okay, that's <laughs> this what is exactly what I said yeah. I shouldn't do. Yeah, well, that, that is a good offer. We are playing for fifty thousand pounds. You've got a sixteen-second time advantage. Right. But you're taking on a full house of chasers. Yeah. Dom, I wish you well. It's time to see if you can beat the chasers. <laughs> This is how it works, Dom. Your clock will start counting down when I start to ask you the first question. Get it right, your clock will stop. Their clock will start when I go to ask them the question. They get it right, it comes back to you and so on. Get a question wrong, I stay with you until you get one right. Simple as that. You run out of time before them, you're beaten. They run out of time before you, your charity gets 50 grand. You ready? As I'll ever be. OK, Dom, your clock starts counting down now. Which playwright is known as the Bard of Avon? Shakespeare. Correct. Chasers, which royal celebrated her 70th birthday, 2020? Mark. Princess Anne. Correct. Dom, a frantic person is said to act like a headless what? Chicken. Correct. Chasers, who plays Phil Mitchell in EastEnders? Um... Mark. McFadden. More, please. Oh, um... Uh, quick. Pass. Steve McFadden. How many minarets does the Taj Mahal have? Jenny. Four. Correct. Dom. I'm loving it is the slogan of what fast food chain? McDonald's. Correct. Chasers. What family of elements has a name meaning salt producing? Jenny. Halogen. Correct. Dom. Rapper Iggy Azalea comes from what country? America. Australia. Which Russian mystic was known as the Mad Monk? Rasputin. Correct. Chasers. Point guards are positioned Mark. in what sport? Basketball. Correct. Dom. Justin Timberlake was the voice of Boo Boo in what film? No idea. Yogi Bear. A jump start is used to start a car with a dead what? Battery. Correct, Chasers. Which Killing Eve actress played Kate in Dr Foster? Mark. Oh, Eve Pilastri. Jodie Comer. Cornish Rex is a breed of what Jenny. animal? Dog. Cat. Of what first name linked singers, surname Ezra and Michael? Mark. George. Correct, Dom. Who was the oldest of the literary Bronte sisters? Charlotte. Correct, Chasers. In Germany, what is Flughafen? Dog. <laughs> Did not see that coming. I saw it coming. I'm <laughs> savouring this. Just look at the face on the beast. Yeah, I know. It, if it's any, I'm just, I'm so happy. <laughs> Sean, nice to see you again. And you too. Yeah. Redemption. Honestly, I know you're upset, but that money is going to something really seriously that needs it. You and want I, it. And I want well. it. And I haven't embarrassed myself for once. So no, thank you. Yeah. Well done, mate. Congratulations. The charity 50 grand rich, and of course, we've beaten the full house of chasers. Dom Jolly, everyone. Thank well you. done, Dom. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.